Hey, 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 y'all. One more time. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. It's Nurse Cat. How you doing? How you living? How's school going? So, thumbs up for that new intro. Um, sorry, guys, about the lighting. I'm in my car at my sister's school. She got detention, so I was just like, let me film this real quick for you guys. Take a break from studying. That's why I look like such a, a school student. So, I had a job interview on Tuesday. Let's talk. So, this job, um, the DON, Director of Nursing, was the Director of Nursing at my first job prior to me being there, maybe 10 years ago. And so she knew that I had nursing experience. And so she was actually quite challenging because she was asking me all these questions and I'm like, whoa. So let me give you some of the insider of the questions that she was asking. She was asking me in case of an emergency, like my patient falling out of bed, what would I do? Uh, she also asked me, um, what are the things I would bring with me to check my patient? So I would bring, I told her I would bring my thermometer, my blood pressure cuff, my glucometer to check her, the patient's glucose. I would bring a, did I say everything? O2 sat machine. I forgot what it's called. And yeah, to check all my patient's vitals to make sure everything is okay with my patient, to make sure my patient is stable before either attempting to get them back up or sending them out to the hospital. Um, what else did she ask me? She asked me, what are some things I would do if my patient gets discharged? You know, you would get rid of the medication out of the, medica uh, out of the nursing cart. You would go ahead and look at that patient's chart, make sure it's complete, make sure you document on that patient, the things that they did, where they're going, who you gave report to, things like that. She was asking me, um, what are some labs that I would be checking when I come into shift? Oh my gosh, guys, be prepared, be prepared, because I wasn't. So I'm like, the labs that I would check before starting my shift you know i'll check my b1 creatinine i'll check my potassium just off my head i'm like just guessing all the labs i can't because i did not know <laughs> so be prepared guys don't be like me i'm giving you guys the inside so you guys can know what you're gonna say before they say it um i'm happy she did not ask me that foolish question why do you want to work here well i want to work here to make money because i'm broke what you mean so thank god she didn't ask me that um did she ask me anything else no she didn't ask me anything else i got the job i don't know how much i'm gonna get paid i don't like that aspect hr was busy but she took all my paperwork and gave me the drug test paperwork so i'm not sure how much i'm gonna get paid but no nursing is not about the money but I need to make decent amount of money. I have experience. I'm not a new nurse. So you need to get me what I deserve. And if you're not offering me what I deserve, I can take my talent somewhere elsewhere. Guys, you got to know your worth. Don't let these jobs um, skimp you out. Is that a real word? Skimp? Whatever. Skimp you down on what you deserve. You are a nurse. You have knowledge. You went to school. You know what to do. Don't let them like hijack your money. Don't. We're not doing that. 2019 get your paper get your money up anyways um yeah i'm studying for finals right now guys no sleep this week uh stressing all week um so that's gonna be crazy i'm just nervous i don't really need much to pass so but i'm still really doing my best because i need to have my knowledge because when i'm ready to take my NCLEX boards for rn i want to be ready um I did get some questions in my last video. When do I graduate? I graduate July 2019. I'm in a bridge program for RN. So it's LPN to RN. And that's only a year. It's a fast course, but it's doable, guys. Like, if you are thinking about it, do it. Don't think about it, just do it. If I didn't waste a year last year, I would have been finished and I would have been RN by the age of 24. So right now, I'm 24, I'll be an RN before I'm 25, if everything goes well. I hope it does. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Did I need to tell you guys anything else? Oh yeah, 
I wanted to tell you guys why I wanted to go back to the rehab, which I feel like I did tell you, but if you didn't know, um, rehab is more hands-on. They give you that little bit more independence in comparison to a assisted living, home health, or a hospital. Um, a lot of the stuff, um, they, they're not so... Like, okay, for example, according to the NCLEX book, nursing LPNs cannot do a lot. But once you get in the field, in reality, you can do a lot. Pause. I'm not telling you LPNs out here working illegally now. We're working in our scope of practice. We just have a little bit more independence in comparison to hospitals and home health. Now, let's get back to the video. And you learn those, those hands-on skills that you talk about in school, you actually learn them at, at a rehab. Yes, it's more stressful. Yes, you have more patience. Sometimes it's not the best situation, meaning like cleanliness is eh, but meaning like they're not gonna baby you. That's what I'm trying to say. And I like that aspect because if I'm getting babied, I'm not gonna go to my full potential, honestly. I'm going to take my time and let you do it because you want to do it, right? So I like that aspect as well as home health is very slow paced. And I don't think I'm one of those slow paced nurses. Like, I like to be moving and the, get the day going and be out. And I don't like 12 hour shifts. Um, I noticed that. By the time 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock comes, I'm ready to go. So. I love my patient that I'm working with now, but it's just, you know, I gotta move on to something better. And of course I'm gonna let them know. They're really sweet. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs it up. You guys are doing better with the thumbs up because last video you guys were doing it. Um, subscribe because you guys, y'all just be watching for free. You don't be committing. Like I get it, I get it. You wanna test it out before it commits. But I got these videos and I'm coming. I'm going to try to do like two weeks. Um, the two weeks that I'm off or three weeks. The two weeks that I'm off, I'm, I'm trying to do videos back to back to back. So get ready. Um, so much coming in 2019. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love each and every one of you. Nurse gang. Um, we're going to get through it. All right, have a blessed day, guys, and talk to you later.